I need one. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. As always here at uh, BNO Ter Horst in Utrecht, you come for one thing, you end up with three. <laughs> so it's always a good day. First order of business. There's some new B BNO, well, I guess they don't, uh, don't longer use any BO play. H4s out. Uh, I'll have some B-roll, but uh, they fit very comfortably. Even for someone uh, like me with uh, that wears glasses, they don't press at all. And uh, unlike my Sennheisers, that sort of get annoying after a little bit, the, uh, as in they press too much on the legs of my, my glasses. But I can honestly say, no problem with these. The leather is plush. It's really, really nice. And uh, yeah, it basically does everything new. It, it does aptX. Uh, it's, it says superior sound uh, on the box, as always, but you know, it always does. So. And uh, up to 19 hours battery life, which is excellent, really. That should well get you through the day or any sort of plane uh, journey. So, uh, yeah, they're over here and uh, they block out sound well. So, uh, love them. If you're into these, get some. In euros, I think they're 2.99 in pounds don't know in dollars probably also about 2.99 so uh, they're available from today so yeah that's the first already then we're gonna talk about the BioVision Harmony my god it's just not fair towards the Eclipse <laughs> uh, if you have an Eclipse and you think it's the best TV I have bad news for you it was <laughs> there's a new king in town Dear God, does it sound good. It's easily the best TV on the market today. I don't even think you per really need a sub with this TV. Where the Eclipse, you, it would sound better if you had a BioLab 19 attached to it. This, no longer necessary. I'll play some tunes and you can listen for yourself. Unlike with the stage, this is filmed at 50. And dear Lord, does it sound good. It's powerful, it's punchy, there's so much bass for a TV. And uh, yeah, after you uh, listen to that, I can explain what this little thing has to do with the latter part of the video. I'll give you a clue. Okay. Try this, Betty. My God, I can't do stuff. Versus. This is possibly the second coolest thing I've seen today. Kind of tied for first place. Stay tuned. You can blow fire 
money you'll get the bill.
So yeah, where the B of Vision Harmony, that's, by the way, just a harmony by itself, sounds excellent. Something is really, really, really extraordinary <laughs> that uh, I want to show you, but I can't. And that's not for anything else, but I wonder if anybody has seen something interesting. I filmed from this couch <laughs> and there is a surround setup. There's no speakers here, there's no speakers there, there's nothing under the couch. There's a speaker here and a speaker there. So, <laughs> these are made by Amino. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. They're invisible speakers, as they clearly state on the manual. And these are the plaster over series. So these are speakers you can actually build into the wall. Uh, they take about seven centimeters of a depth back. You cut out a hole, you put them in, and you plaster over them, and your literal wall becomes a speaker. I'll show you some tune. So, uh, this is the harmony playing. Then we, then we go to rear. It's a directional mic. It's really quite something. <laughs> I'll get you some better track. Uh, here we go. They're powered uh, right now by a passive kit. Here is a speaker and you just cannot see it. You can feel it a little bit. It's so weird showing you a white wall. So there's one there. And there's one there. So even in a space like, like this, come on, focus. So there's a speaker there. And a speaker more or less there. It's hard to be exact without being next to it because you can only feel where they sort of are. But this is one of the coolest things in sliced bread. And here we come to the actual speaker element. It's a really trick bit of kit. If you can see, get some better light. So there's a membrane on magnets that vibrate the membrane, but only slightly and ever so slightly that you can have it in a wall and your plaster be fine. You can put up to two mils of plaster over these and you still get the sound which you hear now. Granted, they're no lap 50s, but they're perfect for surround sound where you don't want to look at anything. They're bloody amazing. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, in the back, you also have this running from speaker to speaker, which is a fuse. Since they're in the wall, and you, you'll have a very hard time getting them out. If you ever overpower them, the fuse blows and the speakers are protected, which is really clever design. And they're not even playing that loudly at the moment, but you can hear they produce very good sound. Do you have a kitchen? Do you have a bathroom? Do you have a hallway where you don't want to show any of your speakers? This might be for you. <laughs> if I hadn't, didn't have concrete walls in my place, I would be thinking of this because this is excellent. I mean, when you have a setup like this, 
up front <laughs> and then you have a bunch of mystery behind you yet still their sound it's bloody excellent and here's another track uh, that i showed you earlier just to show it's not only bass that goes well uh, since they're smaller we'll do this at 60. again this is the wall playing <laughs> It's a directional mic. You can play with fire when you get the bill. Don't let her know. Yeah, it's so cool. There used to be 17s here, but this is so clean. If you live in a narrow house, this is perfect. Yeah, two thumbs up from me. So yeah, the, the, this is very much, this is very much something else. And that is how you can sort of easily show We'll do this. This is like a simple rattle. This is the same sort of board, but uh, this is the bare kind of stuff where you don't plaster over. But that's how much the amplification is by just contact noise. I can barely hear that this. So that's in the wall. That's some high tech stuff. I love this. So yeah, uh, you, we've come to the end of the video. What do you actually think is cooler? The Beovision Harmony, which is quite possibly the best TV ever, not just B&O TV, because it's almost not, like I said, it's almost not fair to whoever made the Eclipse. <laughs> or hidden speakers that actually work and sound well. Tell me what you think in the comments, like, subscribe, and uh, see you all in the next one. Bye.